This is Glass Board Learning. I'm Mr. Chen. Let's do some math. Here are the problems for today. I want you to pause the video and try them out yourself first. Then press play so you can check your work and your answers with me. All right, let's do it. For number seven, we are going to find the area of this trapezoid right here. Um, kind of like what we did with the uh, triangle and the parallelogram. We can try to, I don't know, morph this shape into a rectangle, sorta, kinda. Uh, we see that this base right here, this top part is six. This base right here is eight. We need to find the average of six and eight, the number in between six and eight. Hmm, let me see, six, eight, the number between that is, oh, it's seven. And if you didn't know how I did that, you could have just added the top two bases. I'm sorry, the base here and the base here, six plus eight, and then divide it by two. Six plus eight, and then divide that by two. Six plus eight is gonna be 14, and then divide it by two, that's gonna equal to seven. Once we have seven, we can then multiply it by the height. So seven times four, that gives me 28. And since the, uh, the units are in inches, we can write 28 inches squared. And that's our answer. All right, for number nine, we're gonna find the area of this trapezoid. And if you look at this trapezoid, it looks kinda weird cause it looks like someone tilted it over on its side, but you know, everything else is the same thing, okay? Uh, to find the area of the trapezoid, we're gonna get the uh, two bases, add them up, okay? And then divide it by two cause we wanna find the average of these two numbers. And then we're gonna multiply it by the height. And in this case, since it's like tilted over, the height is gonna be 10. So let me see, base one is gonna be 7.5. I'm gonna write seven point five, running out of ink here, plus uh, this other base right here, 13.5, and then divide that by two. Multiply that by 10, because that's the height. 7.5 plus 13.5, uh, that's gonna be 21. And then 21 divided by two, that's going to be, uh, oh, 10 and a half. So 10 and a half, 10.5 times 10, Whenever we multiply any number by 10, we can just move the decimal place or decimal point to the right one time. So I can go boop, and my answer is gonna be 105. And since the units here are feet, we're gonna write 105 feet squared, and that is your answer. If you thought this tutorial was helpful, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel so you can get the latest updates. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.